why are we using these weird landscaping plants that's burning up all of our water, our drinking water? If you look at the landscapes, a conventional landscape is in the, at least in the Texas region here, it's made up of African Bermuda grass, Asian jasmine, Chinese holly, India hawthorn, you know, Japanese boxwoods, Pakistan crepe myrtles. There's all these weird plants that are from everywhere except here. Around helping people restore the earth. That is our company mission. I took my landscape kind of mindset and tweaked it a little bit and got really deeply involved in what's known as ecological restoration. I got out of the idea of doing people's lawns, but instead we can go and rebuild habitats. Uh, it's not easy. This isn't something that is produced in mass quantities. It's a minor miracle to be able to pull together a harvest on on a native prairie remnant and to be able to capture the seeds that are ready on that day that you're harvesting may be as many as 50 species and to run it through a state-of-the-art seed cleaning facility here on the farm that is specifically laid out and designed to clean native seeds and particularly native mixtures of seeds. What we want to do is minimize the inert matter and raise the purity and the germination contents to the point that is extremely high value and that it is plantable through, through mechanized processes. So we get off the long straw and the sticks and the stems and a lot of the dirt and dust and we leave the seed mixtures and components intact. Therefore, we are able to offer an ecosystem in a bag.